Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android 4.4.2 KitKat on your Mac. Now, before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that your Mac has at least 10 gigs of free space on your hard drive, and that you have at least 4 gigs of RAM. If you have anything less than that, you might run into lag issues if you do install it. I mean, it will still run, but you're going to run into performance issues. You're also going to need to download VirtualBox, which is the emulator that's going to be used to run Android. And you're also going to need the Android KitKat ISO. You can download that from the Android x86 website. Both of those links are in the full tutorial link in the description below. After you have all that, we're ready to get started. So go ahead and install VirtualBox. After VirtualBox is installed, go ahead and open it up. And in the top left corner, you're going to see a new button. So go ahead and type that. In the name field, you could name it anything you want. I named mine Android x86. Under Type, select the Linux, and under Version, select Other Linux. After that, you're going to want to enter 512 in the memory box size. Now a window titled Hard Drive will appear. After you finish the RAM selection, you're going to want to create a new virtual hard drive. And under Type, you're going to want to select the option for VDI. The next screen is asking you about the storage just select dynamically allocated and after selecting that you're going to want to change the default size to 8 gigabytes and after that selected go ahead and tap create now the setup wizard will be finally finished and on the left side of the window you should see elixir machines and select the new android x86 and select start after we start it up it'll ask you where you want to install from now go ahead and tap the explore icon and select the ISO that you downloaded. Mine's already on my desktop so I'll just select it from there. After that's loaded up, tap start and you, then you'll see the installation screen. After that, scroll down to the installation option, tap enter, select create modify partitions and then you'll be brought to a flat screen. From that screen, select new by using your arrows on your keyboard. After that, select primary and be sure that it says 8587.19 megabytes. After that, tap enter. Highlight your partition, it should be highlighted by default, and then select bootable. After that, go to write, and then select yes. After that, your changes can be written onto your disk, and you can press quit after all that's done. After that, you should now see that the you have a new partition on your virtual hard drive and now that the hard drive is there go ahead and select it and Android will start installing. For the format type select ext3 and then hit enter. Once you've formatted you'll be asked if you want to install grub bootloader. Tap yes. If you don't select that you will not be able to properly boot into Android and make sure that when the prompt comes up to select the system to be read write. The Android install is pretty quick so after that's done you're going to want to Go ahead and go to the bottom right of the window of VirtualBox. Tap, um, select the CD icon and untick the box that says Android x86 ISO. That'll, that will unmount that ISO from your VirtualBox. And then select force unmount to properly unmount the ISO. After that's all done, go ahead and tap machine from the drop down menu up top and select restart. That will manually restart the virtual machine and then Android will boot right up. It will take a while to get to the welcome screen like any new Android would. That's because it's optimizing the Adalbit cache. Alright, so whenever you tap into the Android window, you will lose control of your regular OS. And that's just because your mouse is trapped inside a virtual box. In order to get it out of that, you're going to want to tap the left command key on your keyboard. After you've finished the welcome screen setup, will be brought to a regular home launcher. You go ahead and download the Google Now launcher from the Play Store because that is compatible with pretty much any version of Android. And you can also download any other app that's compatible with KitKat. Be sure to check out the full guidelines in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.